what to do in such a case with Marfan syndrome when you don't have a CT segment or a Sioni ring. Uh, let's see this novel technique using a CTR and proline to know sutures. Well, as you can see here, I started first by opening the conjunctiva in nasally and doing a sclerer pocket or a sclerer flap using a um, 15 uh, crescent blade and then after that <coughs> uh, I'm inserting the tenoproline sutures, double arm tenoproline sutures, uh, both uh, threads, one in the proximal end of the capsular tension ring and another in the distal end. And then surgery is uh, started, the capsule is very elastic, so uh, it had to be done uh, with a microincisional capsular axis forceps. And uh, as you can see here, um, the zonules are intact, but they are stretched as known in Marfan syndrome. Um, so as you can see here, the capsular axis was about to extend. Uh, so by adopting the littles technique, and pulling the capsular axis edge towards the center or even backwards, helped in, uh, as you can see here, retaining the axis and completing it. And then inserting the CTR, uh, and pushing against the, these subluxated zonules. It's a bit tricky, you, had, you have to do it slowly. And as you can see here, the CTR was inserted and the threads are inserted within. But of course, this, this CTR, this capsular tension ring, is not uh, totally enough to support the capsular bag, uh, as you can see. So you have to separate both threads, the proximal and the distal, and then you can take uh, the the distal CTR which is on the right now and now you could insert the straight needle uh, throughout the eye and to go outside using the handshake technique with the insulin syringe uh, beneath your screer pocket or screer flap which is done. Uh, it's important here to emphasize that the needle shouldn't pierce the capsular axis or now you're going to compromise your whole surgery. And then the other end of the same thread is inserted and now it's externalized through this uh, pocket uh, and as you can see here i'm trying to get the thread away from the capsular axis to avoid injuring my capsule and as you can see here when you pull these threads the ctr is becoming more centralized then you cut the threads and you take your knot uh, and you should be um, the knot should be buried under the sclera. It's, it's like a slip knot or surgical knot you, you control. It. And then I found that the this complex CTR caps back complex needs a nasal support. So I did the same um, technique, but with the proximal thread, which uh, which passes which passed through the proximal eyelet of the CTR. And as you can see here, uh, the first uh, needle was externalized uh, using the same technique, the handshake technique. And actually this was a bit easier because uh, the distance covered by the needle inside of the eye uh, was uh, far much shorter than the distance uh, covered from uh, the, the previous sutures. And then uh, here, uh, when I was going to insert the other uh, needle, uh, there was a bump actually that uh, the, the the needle was cut during uh, organization outside the eye. So I had to just uh, to open the widening the opening and under the screw flap with um, uh, 23 gauge uh, uh, needle and insert my 23 gauge and grip and forceps to grab the uh, this the other end of the same suture and externalize it through the screw. Uh, and uh, it's uh, it was easy uh, after that you can uh, take the suture and tighten it so that the CTR would have a complete uh, support nasally and inferiorly which it's actually the, uh, the uh, which is actually the uh, the the weak areas in the zonules and after that cataract was commenced very slowly and very gently the irrigation was uh, kept quite low and um, the vacuum also was very low and uh, the lens was soft so IA was done uh, as you can see here the CTR actually uh, turned a little it actually migrated a bit so it, uh, the, the, in, the threads inside the eye became a bit lax and the capsular axis 
came above a bit but it didn't help uh, it, it was it didn't stop us from uh, putting the IOL in the sulcus uh, as you can see here and uh, everything every concentration here is the haptic should be in the sulcus not going through the zonules or not going through to the vitreous through the zonules or causing more zonulysis and as you can see here the three piece IOL was inserted and the uh, trailing haptic was inserted and dialed uh, easily into the capsular sulcus with good IOL centration on the capsular bag CTR complex which is supported by the proline tenno sutures um, one with a, under an inferior scalar flap another one under a nasal scalar flap and then gently removing the viscoelastic as you can see here no vitreous was uh, extruding and this surgery was concluded I emphasize on, on closing the scalar fla flaps especially the nasal scalar flap which had uh, an opening, uh, the 23 gauge opening, as you saw in the video. And thank you so much for watching and uh, hoping to hear your comments down below. If there are any comments, I'm happy to, um, to answer. Thank you so much.